Melinda Zabritsky, Director of Automotive Credit for Experian Automotive on how average credit scores for new vehicle buyers went up in 2009, how they're stabilizing now, and what that means for dealers. We monitor huge portions of the portfolio. Um, when you look at the U.S. as an aggregate, there's been very little shifts in credit scores. Uh, when you look at the entire U.S., about 60% of the U.S. as a whole is a prime buyer. Um, so about 60-40 split between prime and subprime. When we actually look at credit scores overall, there's been very slight shifts in credit scores. But when we look at the vehicle industry and we look specifically at new vehicles, we saw credit scores tighten up throughout 2009. Um, scores were up you know, 10, 12, 20 points year over year. Throughout the end of 2009, they stayed very, very stable. New scores are very high. I want to say the average score on a new vehicle loan is around 776. So very high. They're not increasing as dramatically in 2010 as they did in 2000 as they did in 2009. It's really stabilized. Use scores do continue to increase a little bit. Um, average use scores tend to be in the upper 600s, and they have tightened up both with the scores we're seeing coming out of the independent dealers as well as the franchise dealers. I would expect to see the, the, the market stay pretty consistent for new, um, unless, again, there's some dramatic changes in the lending programs. We have lenders get a little more aggressive. Wouldn't expect to see scores really change behind or beyond the upper 770s for new. And then the used market does tend to be seasonal. We'll see the scores shift throughout the year, um, but stay pretty, pretty much in the upper 680s for an industry overall, and then the franchise use tends to hover around 700 or so, and that tends to be pretty consistent.